morning, everybody. Another day is upon us. Just on our way to the truck. I didn't take much stuff home. I pretty much just took my computer home, the weasel, and uh, a few pieces of laundry that I had to wash, but I was only gone for two days. I was just stopping at home for a reset now on my way down to uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota, close to Minneapolis. We're not actually going into Minneapolis, but we're going to get there tonight. It's about a seven hour drive or so. And uh, deliver in the morning and see what the load gods have for us then. This is all I had brought home. So it wasn't too much to transfer back and forth. Weasel back there already, doing his weasel business. What do I want to do here? What is your weasel business, Diesel? Usually you do your weasel business outside. That's not the weasel business I'm talking about. I'm just talking about he's just chillaxing. Yeah, that's how I said it. What? I used that word. Don't look at me like that. Let's get this baby started. Oh, there she is. Did you miss me? Oh, so nice. Fill up the trailer with air. Get the lights going. I'm gonna do the little walk around, make sure that everything's working. Make sure the tires have air inside them. Pressurized to the right degree. Get some heat going in here. It's a little chilly. Apparently, apparently we've had a, a Siberian cold front come into Manitoba. That's what I've heard. The uh, We had an extremely windy day yesterday and apparently these winds came all the way from Siberia on the other side of the northern hemisphere, on the other side of the planet, came over the North Pole and came down over Canada. So thanks Russia for all your cold weather. Like we didn't have enough of that ourselves. I think we're doing just fine without your help, but thank you. I'll be sure to send some back to you. It's cold. I'm hoping we're not going to get snow out of all of this. It's uh, 12 degrees out right now, right? Yeah, 12 degrees. So it's not that cold, but, you know, it's cold. I found my old hat. It's not really that old. It is a little dirty, but that is why it is now my trucking hat. I always like to save my best hats for just when I'm at home, and then I, when I get a new one, that one becomes my trucking hat, because my truck, trucking hats for some reason get dirty when they're on the road. I don't know, I guess I touch them a lot, move them around, they fall on the ground, all this stuff. It's my new trucking hat. What do you guys think? It's the only parking spot I could find for this thing. I've been at home for the last day, and our yard has just been right packed. I don't know if I can do this. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, oh, yep. Oh, oh, I figured it out. Can't hold me back. Oh, I could have just. Oh, I got myself all dirty in that. Gotta make sure this trailer is sealed. This is the seal that the load came with. That means that this trailer has not been opened since it got loaded. This is the seal for the US border. This shows the border that it has not been opened and. People have not thrown stuff in here that shouldn't go over the border, and you know, you can't get that off. There's no way to get this off without bolt cutters. So if that breaks, that's a big deal. This girl needs a wash. Look at this. Dirty. Maybe we can stop for a wash on the way down. That would be nice. I'd like to have a clean truck. I only get one wash per month for these trucks. Sometimes you need a little bit more than that, especially in winter time. Winter time, these trucks are filthy all the time. But what can you do? That's the climate we live in. I mean, winter time's messy. Let's not talk about winter yet. Right on. Not gonna start for me. Why do you do this sometimes? Let her do her thing, let her ding away. 
Okay. There we go. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so we have what, about 700, 700 kilometers to go? Down to Minnesota, it's close to Minneapolis where we're delivering, not into the city. Not into the, just, just outside the city. But I believe it's about, you know, I need to put this address into my GPS anyways. And we'll figure that out. Everything's all good to go on the truck now though. Oh, there it is. I saw the address already. Navigate. Navigatio. Navigatio. Navigate. 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 633 kilometers. Proceed to the highlighted route. Got a cross at Pembina, North Dakota. Let's see. 633 kilometers divided by 1.61. 393.16770186335 miles. Precisely. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna get a truck wash in Fargo tonight at the Blue Beacon. Got a PO number for it. So since it's not my truck, uh I can't just go and wash the truck and send them the bill. They want to, I guess, because some guys wash the truck every day, which is not a bad thing, I don't think. But, Turn right on Highway 59. But I guess since they give us one per month, I get a PO number. I can pay for it myself to have this wash, truck washed if I want to, but that comes out of my pocket then. But the PO number I got now, uh, charges it to them and not me. Continue on this road for 22 kilometers. So let's go. We're about an hour and 15 minutes from the U.S. border. I'm going to stop in St. Adolph at uh, the Flying J there. Grab myself some coffee. Wash the windshield because I only washed half the windshield yesterday. Or the day before whenever I was in such a rush to get home. And this also reminded me to pick up washer fluid as well. I don't pay for that either. Again, it's not my truck, so. So you can see that half has not been scrubbed, you see? I did that on purpose so that when I got into the truck today, just now, I'd remember to pick up washer fluid and it worked. So I got lots of washer fluid now and a PO for a truck wash. And we are screaming. Fast as we can go 100 kilometers an hour down towards America. Someone down in Minnesota wanted some good old Canadian lumber. I've got it in the box behind me. It's the same lumber I used to haul on the flatbeds, except they put it in the van trailer now. And that's why I always wonder, like, why, why are we putting all this freight, like a lot of the freight we put on the flatbeds, we could just throw in a van trailer, like what I'm pulling now. And it's so much easier, you don't have to tarp it, you just close the doors, right? Well, they haul a lot of this on flatbeds, but yeah, I got the same stuff in the van trailer right now. Uh, it's going down to near Minneapolis. Somebody there, like I said, wanted some lumber. We're gonna bring it to them so they can build something. So I got 15 minutes down the road and I forgot that I forgot my paperwork. Does that make sense? I forgot that I forgot. Had to come back for the paperwork. My bad, Diesel. I need the paperwork so I can show the border what's in my trailer. And also my cover sheet, it's called a cover sheet, that's what I give to the border guard or the, the uh, Customs and Border Patrol agent so that they know who I am, where I'm going, what I'm hauling and all that fun stuff.
Gotta make sure we get our coffee. Had to wait an extra half hour because of the whole forgetting the paperwork thing. This, see there. This is 2020 after all. As you can tell, the truck is pretty dirty and needs a wash. to the Petro here in Fargo, North Dakota. This is where the Blue Beacon is. Hopefully there's not too much of a lineup. If there's no lineup, we can usually be out of here in about 15 minutes. But there is usually a lineup. They sort of got the entrance hidden away over here. There is an enter sign on the right here, but if you're new here, like my first time when I came here, it might be a little uh, confusing how to get into the truck wash. Oh, and there's no lineup. Well, would you look at that? It's usually lineups all the way down here. They put these rocks here so that we don't get out of line, I guess. You wanna make sure you don't drag your trailer over them because that wouldn't be very uh, helpful at all. Look at this. Not even one truck in front of me. What are they closed? What's going on here? Look at this. I wonder which one they want me to go to. I'm guessing they're both open. There's nobody in there. Either one. I'm gonna go to this one. I don't know if I've ever gotten to a blue beacon before where there's absolutely nobody in front of me. Very interesting. Going, sir. Going all right. All right. Check each other. Just the truck today. Uh, probably the more popular one. I just got a PO number, so. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Diesel. Looks like they're just getting ready for us in there. Cleaning the floor and stuff. Making it all nice and clean. Oh, here we go. They're waving us in. down as we roll down here.
car that's stuck on there. Well, you know, they can always do a better job, but it's a lot better than it was. Look at this. Look at this here. <laughs> All this down here. Right up there. Man, they actually did a pretty bad job. All that there. Look at this. Wow. It's actually a pretty bad job. We might have to get them to go do it again. They never do a hundred percent, you know, and it's expensive. These truck washes are anywhere from like, you know, 50 to 75, even more dollars American. You'd expect it to be spotless, but you always sort of leave a little bit disappointed for the money you spent. But hey, I guess if you want the job done right, you should do it yourself. Take this opportunity to walk the weasel. Stretch his legs a little bit stretch my legs a little bit and yes those are crocs i'm wearing my wife hates them look at this big open area diesel can i trust you if i take you off the leash here there's a fence stopping him from getting to the road don't disappoint me okay hey wait 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 hold on buddy hold on let me get closer to you hold on only got one hand to work with here okay don't disappoint me bud you listen when I call you. It's got the fence there, so uh, he can't get onto the road, right? And it's this big open grass area. All the trucks are back here. There's no one else out here. Whatever. I've got this big giant leash. It's actually called a giant flexa leash. It's apparently made in Germany. Go figure, something not made in China. <laughs> I like to let him stretch his legs out whenever he can. <sighs> Come here, bud. Not that way. Not that way. Don't disappoint me, bud. I told you. Diesel, come here. Come here, bud. You know, you have this whole open grass area, and he goes to the gravel. There you go, bud. Have your fun on the grass here, man. Stay away from the trucks. I'm trusting you, man. He's nine years old now. He turned nine a couple of weeks ago. But let me tell you, for the first half of his life, I would have never trust him with this. He has earned my trust over the years. He's a good boy now. I mean, if there's other people out here, eh, no one cares, whatever. What are you find over there, Diesel? Find your point of flags in your ground, mate. Look at this. Don't mess with them, bud. Probably for their hydro or their electricity. In Manitoba, we call electricity hydro. What do you think, man? I think I gotta sniff every square inch of this place. Don't pee on it, man. That's what the trees are for. All right, but we have a little bit of ways to go yet. You gotta come, man. You gotta come along, man. We gotta get all the way to Minneapolis area yet. Come on, we got a few more hours to go. Come on, bud. Come on, man. Come on, man, get in the truck. Good boy. Ready to go? I want to go to the petrol stopping center in Clearwater, Minnesota. Hoping to find a spot by the time I get there. It's usually pretty packed, but we'll see what happens. Beautiful truck here on the right. Wow. Nice. Oh, wow. The Kenworth has a massive custom sleeper. Yikes. I wonder how much those custom sleepers cost. Like you gotta be a single, single person to have one of those, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, as a married person, I know that I have different things that I gotta spend my money on other than a big giant custom sleeper. Right? Well, hey, everybody's different. There's seven billion of us on this earth. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of different people. To each their own, man. You do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to do. How about that?
we'll stay out of each other's way and we'll both be happy. How do I get out of here again? I always forget how to get out of this Petra Pets. Okay, this way. It's like a zigzag pattern to get out of here. I think I went the wrong way. Okay, exit that way. Ah, they painted it on these yellow barriers now. You see, exit left. <laughs> they didn't used to have that there. I always used to get lost in this parking lot. That's ah, because I'm not very smart. That's okay. Exit this way. Us and our clean, semi clean semi. <laughs> See what I did there? Semi cleans it. No. Come on, I thought it was funny. And I'm the only one here that I got to impress. Besides Diesel, but he's impressed anyway. I bring him his food. Sock Center, Minnesota. This is where I decided I'm going to park. It's got a massive parking lot over there. Is either that or the speedway down the road. It's a little bit of a smaller lot though. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the Clearwater Petro is going to be just packed already. So I'm not even going to bother trying. I'll stop here. I'm half an hour from my delivery tomorrow morning. That's no problem. We'll just start from here and deliver in the morning. Continue on this road for 31 kilometers. Oh, how about no? How about we stop here for the night? I like that idea much better. In 300 meters, make a U-turn if possible. Let's see if there's room for us back here somewhere. And that's a wrap, good sir. Sir Weaselot. Sir Weasel, Lord of all weasels and woozles. <laughs> that bed is so inviting right now. I'm not that, that tired. I mean, we didn't go that far. Uh, we went far enough. Oh, what, 600 kilometers today? So it's six hours of driving. I'm not sure how many miles that would be. Six, 360, 370, just under 400 miles. Got another half hour to go tomorrow. We're gonna deliver this lumber inside my trailer and uh, figure out what the load gods have in store for me after that. It's been nice hanging out with you today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We have a new schedule right now, so let's see how it works out on my end. I hope it works out good on your end. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. It does a lot for me with the YouTube algorithms. If you liked it, chances are maybe your friends will like it too. Share it out. All I got is word of mouth. I don't got a big uh, advertising situation or anything like that. I don't really pay for to advertise for my channel. It's all just word of mouth through you guys. So if you like my channel, share it with people you know, and maybe they'll like it. Maybe they won't, but maybe they will. It's worth the risk. Maybe they'll like it. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good night.